Not often that the government declassifies, declassifies and then releases dramatic photos. So the FBI took a lot of us by surprise today. The photos are from September 11th, 2001 at the Pentagon. Now we're not going to make you relive that day by showing you file video, but we do want to share these photos with you. They're powerful, but they don't yet have a place at the memorial at the Pentagon. The man in charge of that hallowed ground says that has to change. WUSA 9's Mike Valerio picks up the story from there. Tonight, these new photos are helping to tell the story of what happened here on September 11th, but there's something critical missing to help tell that story. And for the man you're about to meet, it's personal. This is um, Dave's bench here um, on the 1961 age line because that was the year he was born. You read the name at the end of the bench and you see the Pentagon in the background. That signifies that he died in the Pentagon. And now the memorial is where Jim comes to remember his brother Dave, where 184 lives were lost. Working for the Department of the Army and uh, I always said he was just, you know, at the wrong place at the wrong time because he was probably, his office was probably 30, 40 feet from where the plane, you know, came into the building. The FBI just revealed new photographs of the destruction close to where Dave worked that day, showing melted offices, holes through walls where the plane came through, and pieces of the American Airlines jet itself. But there's no place for the photographs here. We're the only 9-11 site that doesn't have a, a visitor center, and uh, this is a unique place in all of Washington, is that you got a memorial where the event actually happened. Jim wants to change that. He's the president of the Pentagon Memorial Fund, and right now, he's working on a design for the visitor center that could house these photos and artifacts. It just really shows the magnitude of the attack, and you, you, you think about, uh, you know, all the people that died that day. But you also think about the people, uh, there's people that went into that building and saved lives. There's, uh, you know, that you think about how we responded as a country. But he says it's also important to remember as a country, to see these photographs, and continue the work that started here, but is far from over. And tonight, there's no definitive timetable for construction on the Visitor Center. It's still a work in progress. At the Pentagon Memorial, Mike Valerio, WUSA 9.